This is the bit I never tire of. The bit where I say to the groom, you may now kiss the groom. 41. 41. Two fat ladies. <laughs> I know you're sceptical, but I can guarantee the spirits will be with us tonight. Vodka and Coke. <laughs> oh, come on, let's get in there before you change your mind. Over the last few months, I have been nothing but reasonable. But this is a step too far. I will not sell that house. And I cannot believe you are asking me to do so. I've got to. I won't go into the emotional stuff, Frank. Like the fact that our child was born there, for instance. Because that obviously means nothing to you. It does not mean nothing. But I will go on about the money. That house is bought and paid for. Not a penny do I owe. No, 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 no. Come on, say it. All I know is... That when your father was diagnosed, I made him a promise that I would be with him when he passed. And thanks to you, I broke that promise. Because of me. Oh, <coughs> what's it like to be rich? Oh, come on, what's it like? We weren't rich. That is what rich people always say. Truth? Of course. Well, most of the time, you still worry about the same stuff. Kids, are they happy? What are you going to cook for tea? But in all honesty, it's better than being poor. My name is Rachel Mason. 33 years ago, I was Rachel Moxton. Well, I've taught a lot of kids. And I thought I'd have been stamped on your brain like you've been stamped on mine. I was 12 years old. He taught me history and regularly abused me. I didn't know such thing. You've done it before. I just know you've done it before, but please tell me you never did it again, that I was the last. I don't know what you're talking about, I'm sorry. You're still teaching, which means you were never caught. You never did it again, which means my silence did no harm. No one else suffered. All those times laughing at us about going bingo, saying what a waste of time, and now... Hey, come on, don't be like that. Me and Jeff have always been very supportive of your gambling addiction, haven't we? <laughs> What's that? I'm just saying the girls with the bingo, we've always backed them, and now we're all getting a slice of the big time. <laughs> I mean, you are splitting it, aren't you? <laughs> right, come on, get this done. What do you mean by that? Come on. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> Here's to all the eights. All I'll drag you in here, and I mean it. I said I'll talk to you about it later. You're so embarrassing. Hey. What's getting to you? You're acting like a mad person. What am I supposed to do? Keep it. You and Jeff have a good time. Well, that's charming behaviour, I must say. You've turned our lives upside down. A few years later, fate atoned for its dirty trick. It let me meet someone else. Someone who'd been through what I'd been through. And when that happens, and I realise it doesn't happen to us all. I realise just how lucky I am. But when it does happen, it's beautiful.